Today we have an ultra mini battery from XZNY. Let's open it up. Don't eat this stuff. All right, and there's the battery. So this is their 12 volt, 100 amp hour ultra mini lithium iron phosphate battery. And it is indeed very small. I think this is the second time we've we've seen this this form factor but I am digging it I'm really liking it all right and let's get a weight on this battery and it is 20 pounds on the dot all right so let's examine some different sizes of 100 amp hour 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries so this is the size that we're, we've been used to all this time. Then we've got a group 24, which is smaller than our standard size. And then we end up getting mini batteries. And now we've got these even smaller mini batteries. So we can see, here's the ZXNY. And I just reviewed this guy. They appear to be the same size. Yeah, so that's really neat. But if uh, we, we compare our original minis, uh, these new minis are coming out even smaller. And of course, if we look at the Group 24, we're certainly smaller. So that's definitely very neat. I like, I like the direction these are going. All right, so let's charge this guy up and then we'll do a capacity test. Okay, so the battery's fully charged. It's hooked up to the shunt. Let's turn on the inverter to start the discharge test. Running the heater as the load. We are pulling 54.4 amps. So we'll just let this continue and I'll be back. All right, you guys, we are down to 1%. We got 99.5 amp hours right now. And we're still trucking along. Looks like we're about to hit full capacity. There it is, 100 amp hours. And as always, we'll just let it keep going to see what we get to. All right, so our inverter is complaining. That's usually where I kill the test. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. And we got to 101.49 amp hours, 1,281 watt hours. Fantastic. All right, so I got the lid fairly loose. We just got to pull it off the rest of the way. Ah, there we go. And let's take a look on the inside here. So I think I'm seeing prismatic cells. Yeah. It's just packed all the way in there, man. There is like no empty space, wall to wall. That's really awesome. But it looks... When I see the top of the cells. There's laser welded bus bars. I, I do think I'm seeing prismatic cells. Yeah, I think I can just barely see the bottoms of them here. All right, let's see what this BMS says. It says XZNY, so they're branded BMS. It says 120 amps. I wonder if that's a high temp switch or is it actually a thermal? probe usually these kind of wires these little silicone kind of wires is it they're usually attached to a thermal switch uh, I don't know let's try to get these cells out I don't think I'm gonna be able to because they are so packed in there there's really nothing for me to get leverage on
No, I can't get these out. Let's look through the user's manual and see if it even says anything about low tent protection. Well, I don't see anything in the manual that claims that it has it. All right, guys, so I just put it in the freezer. And we'll come back and check it in a couple of days. All right, guys, so I've had this battery in here for two whole days. And I've got it set to zero degrees Fahrenheit. Just wanted to make sure I get it super cold. <laughs> so let's see how cold we are in here. So in the battery, we're showing like less than one degrees, even negative at some point. So let's see if it'll charge. All right, so let's plug this in. Ah, we're charging. Yes, yeah, so that didn't stop us from charging. Let's see how many amps it's going in. It's set to 30 amps on the charger, but it looks like it was doing less. It's actually only charging at seven amps. I wonder if that's just because the batteries are so frozen. Interesting. Yeah, the manual states charging temperature at 41 Fahrenheit to 113 Fahrenheit. So yeah, just uh, you want to make sure you don't charge these <laughs> when it's freezing. You know, even some uh, charge controllers will protect lithium batteries from charging in the freezing. But you got to make sure you have the correct one and that's actually set to do that. All right, guys. So I think that's going to be it for the video. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave links in the description and I'll catch you in the next one.